Okay, welcome to another video. My name is Becky and today I'm doing a how to play video on Cubits. It's a math game that is designed to make maths fun for kids, uh, or that is the intention, while also teaching them multiplication and division and just a bit more about maths in general really. Basically, it's pretty simple. The rules are pretty simple, so we'll just go through them. So how do you set up? So first of all, you place all of the cubes that you have here into the canvas bag provided. Um, and then the youngest player is the first player and they take a random cube and they roll it and then they place it on one of these first starting squares. So it's either of these four, they can pick which one. I'm going to place mine there. Um, and then let's see. So basically play goes from the left player, sorry, from the player to the left of the first player and continues clockwise. So, for example, um, this player, you don't score any points on the first cube put down. That is always zero. So the next player goes and they will then place one of their cubes down and hope to match it. If you can't match a cube, then you get zero points for your turn and it just goes to the next player. And you might be wondering, how do you match cubes? So to match cubes, they have to be a multiple or divisible by each other. So, for example, here we have 24 and 12. And I have a cube here that has 4 and 8 on it. So for example, I could place the 4 here because 4 times 6 is 24 and 24 divided by 4 is 6. So they go together. They make a match. And then to score, I would just add these two numbers up. So that would be 4 plus 24, which is 28. I would write that down on the score pad. And it's the next player's turn. So continuing on though, these squares here that are coloured have little extra rules about them. So this one here says minus highest number. Well, that means that you take the highest number off the match that you've just made. So that would be the 24. So really, I got four points for that, which is not much for considering I had 28 a minute ago. So you want to try and avoid the red ones. You want to try and hit the yellow and blue. Um, and the loser cubes, use another player loses a cube, I believe. Um, if you get a yellow, so for example, add 10 or take a cube, pretty self-explanatory. Triple score, you triple the final score. Double score, you double the final score. Pretty simple, I guess. Um, and basically, to start with, to know how many rounds you're going to go through, you must have one round at least for each cube that each player has. So you all start with the same number of cubes. So let's say, for example, I mean, the game says a minimum of six. So let's say here I've got my six cubes. Um, and say there's other players, they've all had one turn and it's my turn next. What do I do? So we just look at the cubes I've got. I mean, they're all double-sided, so you've got more than one option. I'm going to put my three here. And that's because three goes into 24 by eight. Um, and 24 divided by eight is three. So then I would gain three plus 24 points, which would make my score 27. I would write that down and it goes on to the next player. So pretty self-explanatory, right? Um, you must also make sure that everyone has the same number of turns by the time the game ends. So, let's say you had six cubes, you must have at least six turns, because that's one turn per cube. Um, and basically, when the last player has had the last turn, so for example, say you're having eight turns, and the, players, the last player to have their eighth turn has just played their cube, you end the game before anyone has their ninth turn. So everyone must have the same amount of turns, everyone must start with the same number of cubes. The aim of the game is to score the most points by the end of the game, uh, which I've just said is when everyone has had the same number of turns, which is agreed at the start. You must have at least one turn per cube used each. And to score, you add adjacent numbers together. So for example, as I've said, if here I would go three and 24, 27, and here would be four plus 24, but because I'm on the minus highest number, I lose my 24, so I would only gain four points. The numbers next to each other must always be divisible by each other or a multiple of each other. You could have two with six, you could have two with eight or four or 12 or 24, you could have 3 with 9, or 12, 18. As long as the numbers go into each other, or they're, you know, you can make them together, then you are good. Play continues clockwise until everyone's had at least one turn. If a player cannot place a cube, if they cannot add one in that would make sense or make the match, um, they score 0 for that turn, and play continues to the next player. You do not add numbers used twice. So, for example, let me just um, find something. Okay. So, for example, we have this here, um, and let's say that I added this cube in here, here. So, uh, that doesn't make sense in terms of gameplay, but just roll with me. So, for example, for my scoring, I would add 12 plus 4, 2, 3 plus 24, and that would be it. 
Whereas this confused me because in Scrabble you would use the 12 twice. It would be 12 plus 2, 12 plus 4 and 3 plus 24. In this game you don't do that, use the number once. Now I would suggest a Scrabble variant if you're used to playing Scrabble or you're using it with younger kids just because it's easier to keep track of if you can add, add the number twice um, when it is used both times just because you might lose track of when you've used it, you might add it on again, you might not add it on at all. It makes sense of a Scrabble variant but that's just me. I don't know what you guys like and if you've not played Scrabble it won't bother you at all. Um, if you want to make it a little simpler you can remove the board and just use the squares on just blank so that you don't have any of these little extra rules coming into play and that is basically it guys that is simple isn't it that's all you have to do so thank you very much for watching i hope this has helped you understand the game a bit better stay cool stay safe bye guys mm -hmm.